And 10 News reporter Riel Creighton is live with the symbolism behind three cherished moments that we'll witness tomorrow, Riel. Ariel officers will tell you this is something that they hope they never get used to, but it is something that they have done many times before, and there is a lot of tradition when it comes to this. Today, it was Officer de Guzman's flag draped casket that was carried inside this church here. His family, a solemn emotional service for them. Tomorrow, it will be the community's chance to pay their respects. Expect a sea of law enforcement to flood San Diego's streets as officers from around the country bid farewell to a brother in blue. Officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman. <laughs> Flashing sirens and patrol cars in a miles long procession because sadly, we've been here before. Sky 10 was overhead the last time an officer was laid to rest. Jeremy Henwood in 2011, shot and killed in an unprovoked attack at a traffic light. Head of the San Diego Police Officers Association, Brian Marvel, says this ceremony will look a lot like the last. The sights and sounds of the ultimate sacrifice, bagpipes will play. If you have an opportunity to elicit amazing grace on the bagpipe, uh, it's very stirring, uh, probably will bring a tear to your eye. Part of a tradition that's been around for more than a century when Scottish-Irish immigrants were denied all but the toughest jobs, many of them law enforcement. Another symbol in Officer de Guzman's honor, the last radio call will play, signaling the end of his watch. The dispatcher's final attempt to contact him, often with a few words in memory, explains Marvel. Let's everybody know on the department that J.D. has made the ultimate sacrifice and was killed in the line of duty. And one final solemn symbol for his family, for his service, a folded American flag. And hundreds, again, expected to attend tomorrow's service, including California Governor Jerry Brown. We're live in Benita tonight, Riel Creighton, 10 News.